Now we're going to get to some technical stuff. We're just going to get very, very technical. I'm going to get technical with you on image therapy because the understanding and the basis of this work has been developed over about 25 years. And the reason why it started was because I, start, I was a custom clothing designer. I am a custom clothing designer by trade. I'm a couturier. And the reason why I became a couturier is because I started to see very early on, my mother was my first client, I was two and a half years old. I started to see very, yeah, you guys think it's funny, it's actually, it's actually very sad, but she was very ill and she was in bed and I would help her get dressed because I knew dressing her and telling her to get dressed up would make her feel better. So I've been essentially doing this work for a very long time. Going around my life, I became a couturier, I became a custom clothing designer because in those days, there was no image consultant, there was no personal shopper, there was no one that would teach men and women on pockets don't go on double D cups, okay? <laughs> you got junk in the trunk, girl, you don't need no pockets on your bootay. You don't. What? The dimension just gets bigger. You got big boobs, you got a big tummy, no big ruffles hanging on over here because what it does, you turn to the side and your depth gets this. Got that? So the technicality of this work is based on dimension, proportion, color, the physicalness of who you are, and then there's a lot more to you. So we're going to bring up the whole list of your essential formula. That's how this whole work was born, and that's what this work is based on. And an essential f the essential formula was born little by little. Making clothes for people on a custom level. They come in, you take their measurements, you make their clothes, and then you have to get fabrics and you have to look at things, and somehow certain things don't look good on certain people. And I was always very curious to see, why is it that this fabric in this color looks great on this person, and why is it that this fabric in this color doesn't? What is it? What is it about the difference in a fabric, the difference in the visual weight of a texture that on one person looks amazing, and on her twin sister it looks awful? So I started to do research, and the research looked like this. I had a custom design studio, People would come in and would say, I want you to make me this dress. And I would say, sorry, you can't have that because that doesn't look good on you. And people would go, what? why? Why? And I would go, hmm, it just doesn't look good on you. So my, my authentic self would say it doesn't look good on you because I felt that it wasn't right. And I realized that there needed to be a whole new language to teach people from the ground up What's good, what's not, and why? Because people are very smart. You can't just go, oh, you know what? I feel like yellow today for you. It doesn't work. It doesn't. And you know why it doesn't work? Because you can't get away with inauthenticity anymore. So 25 years ago, I started taking inventory of every single client. And my studio walls were lined with boxes. Every client's name was in a box. And then I would say, what, do, what is it do I see? I see color in their skin, I see color in their hair, I see color in their eyes, I see color, where, el where else do you have color? In your lips, in your eyes, in your hair, exactly. So that's the color part. So your essential formula is the formula by which you congregate all the facets of who you are. So the physicality of color, hair, eyes, skin. What else is physical? Shape. Your physical body shape is a really important thing. So what kind of shapes do we have? What? No hair. Oh. <laughs> Let's talk about positive things. There is no such thing as a, as a, what do you call it? What? Pear? No. How about a beautiful teardrop? Much more beautiful. Okay? Much more beautiful. How about, what else? A cylinder. This is a cylinder. Hard shape. Bodies, faces are hard shape. Bodies are cylindrical or they're flat. You look at one body from the, from the front, it looks like this. You turn the body to the side and suddenly there's no butt and no boobs. Ah, 
I'm not one of those. I'm this one. Bernie likes to call us Coke cans because we've taught him to say that. That's what we are. So the dimensionality of my body type happens to be an inverted triangle with big shoulders, small hips, and when you turn me to the side, I'm as deep, as, I'm as deep from the side as I am wide from the front. Now some of you go, that's crazy, but it's true. And the truth about it is, the more integrated you are with the physicality of your body, the better you can dress it. How many in this room would look at me and go, Liana has no waist? Do you? I don't. I don't have a waist. But since this is a room with gentlemen in it, I can't take off my clothes and prove it to you. So the truth is, <laughs> the truth is, I don't have an indentation here. It looks like, maybe it looks like I do, but I don't. So can I sit here and wish I had an indentation? Can I sit here and wish that my legs would like get longer and longer? But they won't. So most of us walk around going, <gasps> Oh, my butt's too big. I wish I wasn't so fat. I wish my boobs weren't sagging. I wish my stomach wasn't so big. I wish my legs were longer. I wish my skin was this. I wish, I wish, I wish, I wish. The truth is that you are just perfectly perfect the way you are. And if the clothes were right, then what would happen? Everything would be much better. So who wants to come up next? I do. I do, I do come up here. Please, what's your name I do? Matt. Hi, Matt. I'm Liana. Nice to meet you. So nice to meet you. Have a seat. Have a seat on the throne. Thank you. Lovely. Talk to us. Well, I enjoy life. I uh, had folks that didn't. Thank you. I enjoy life to the stream, the extreme. I believe that my purpose is to be absolutely consistent with a peak performance life while I do that in my health, family, career, and finances to be strong, motivated, and inspire others to do the same. Lovely. Thank you very much. So, you have no shoes on. Exactly. Why do you have no shoes on? Because I enjoy being comfortable as well. <laughs> <laughs> Let me ask you something. Would you go to a business meeting and take off your shoes? No, ma'am. Okay, good. I just wanted to clarify that. <laughs> so what can I, how can I support you? What can I help you with? Because I'm going to use you as an example for something. Well, I'd be curious to have you read me as I'm dressed now. Okay, I will do that also. But what I wanted to, the reason why I brought, tell me again, Matt. The reason why I brought Matt up here is because his energy and his voice. Because the physicality of your essential formula, the last piece of the essential formula is your voice. And when I was writing up all these things in my studio, all the pieces fell into place except the voice. Now, can you get up for a second, please, and talk to us? Now, don't change your voice. I know that's going to be really hard because I just, I just asked you not to do that, and you're going to do it. It's going to go lower. It's well, going to go higher. <laughs> you know, my voice has pretty much been the same for okay. quite a while. Okay. And that's talk to the, them. Talk that's to the way that I operate. Um, I do a lot of speaking back home. And it's can you, my can you do me a favor? Yes. All right, can you just breathe into your tummy? Breathe <laughs> into your tummy. Okay, good. Now can you start all over again and listen to my question and answer my question? What makes your heart sing? Being the very best I can be and helping others to live their very best life possible. Okay, good. Is there something else that makes your heart sing? family. Okay. Do you have kids? I've got two. I've got okay. a six-year-old okay. and a four-year-old. See how he just changed? So what just happened to him? Huh? Yeah, he's relaxed. He was like, <laughs> relax. It's okay. Yeah. This is a great color on you. Thank you. So it's a great color on him because it's a mixture of his skin tone and his eye color. His eye color is blue and there's a lot of purple in his skin. But I'm going to put a shirt on you that is going to look even better on you. Okay. Wonderful. Okay. So you just keep talking. T tell us about your kids. Um, <laughs> I've got a four-year-old. Her name's Olivia. She is uh, the bride and joy of my life. Yeah. She is absolutely. Stay, stay right here. Stay right here. So a I lot don't of fun. have to. Sorry, I'm a pacer. That's okay. But uh, she's a lot of fun. My six-year-old. She's going hunting for the third season this year. Hunting. Thank you. 
going hunting. See, Shore has been through this many times with me. <laughs> okay, look at them. But hunting for uh, last three seasons, she enjoys going pheasant hunting. She begs her father to take her bow hunting every you. year. She begs you. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Okay, let me have that for a second. So I'm going to take this microphone off of you because I want you to stay relaxed. Okay. Okay. So when you look at this side of his face, what's happening over here? Look at that. Huh? It's softer. It's exactly what? It's the same color as his skin. Now, some of you are going to say to me, but Liana, I can't wear the exact same color as my skin because what happens is I get really washed out and I look bad. How many of you think that? Yeah, it's not true. You do and dress as you are and who you are and to what you are. That means you replicate exactly the structural body type and the coloring that you have, which is very simple. You're going to walk out of this class and you're going to look at your face color. You're going to look at the color pink that's coming up. You're going to look at the red spots. If any one of you have pimples or a rash or something, that's very helpful because that happens to be the red that you can wear. You can pin, I know, it's very funny. People think I'm crazy when I do that. I go, oh my God, you have a pimple. That's the burgundy color. That color. Go find that. It's true. So look at the color on, the finger, on your fingertips. Squeeze your fingertips together. There's a color in there. Pull down your eyelids. There's another color in there. Yeah, there you go. There, that, that's it. Got it? Yeah. So we're just starting with red, and we're just starting with things that are visible. So the more pink you wear, what's going to happen? <laughs> Listen to what she said. Thank you. The soft day you will look. That's, you, that's right. Now, do you want to be approachable? Absolutely. That's what you do. So hold that thought. What about red? What about red? <laughs> I like the power red ties. You do. Indeed. Mm -hmm. But does it like you? Uh-huh. tell me. No, it doesn't. I'll tell you why. Here, let's do this. What do you see first? I rest my case. You don't want them to see the tie first. You want them to see you. This. This is what we're concerned with. Because the minute they're looking at this, they're going, what is that? Is that velvet? Is that cashmere? Is that what kind of a thing is that? And so they're not thinking about what's coming out of your mouth. That's not what you want. How many people do you know that wear a bright red tie and that's the only thing you remember? A lot. A lot of politicians do that. A lot of politicians. Donald Trump. Donald Trump does it. President. Yeah. President does it. Just because the president does it doesn't mean it's right. True. <laughs> Got that? Sit down. I want to put a crown on your head. How do you feel about having a crown on your head? You think you can do this? Absolutely. It's a manly crown. This is the crown I want. See, you've got a small head. So, would you allow me to honor you with this crown? Indeed. Thank you. Thank so, you. would you please stand up? My king, would you please stand up and take your crown? Now, would you hold it in front of you, place it firmly on your head, and just take and try to keep it closed? <laughs> Did that. You're so much stronger than I am. There you go. And now will you please take a stroll up and down and come and let us see you.